Hey, it's uh, Professor Nick Sensky at UNC Charlotte, and uh, this is Grasshopper Lecture uh, Part 2. And um, this is going to be talking about, uh, this is the first part of a, of a segment where I'm going to be talking about distributing geometry. Uh, and by that I mean making a copy of a piece of geometry uh, multiple times to specific locations. And this is something that we do a lot in architecture, where we're making copies of things to make patterns. Uh, we're distributing columns along a grid, or um, you know, some kind of geometry along a surface. Uh, but uh, th the main thing is, I want to I want to talk about uh, if you've got some points on something, uh, how do you how do you get geometry to uh, to basically stick to those points, or to be you know like copy to those points? And uh, so to start with, I'm just going to add like a divide curve. <clears throat> Uh, you know, a component. We haven't we haven't seen this, but uh, we'll be looking at this more later. And uh, this takes a curve as input, and uh, we're going to go ahead and set this curve. And we're just going to leave that as it is. So <clears throat> we've got a lot of points, and uh, there's lots of ways to get points, and that's what we're going to be talking about in the next part of this. Uh, but let's just start with points. <clears throat> And if we're going to take some geometry and distribute it uh, to those points. And uh, the ways that we looked at it, we've taken a circle. And a circle uh, starts off with a base plane. And it has a radius, right? And this component gives us uh, points along our curve. Okay, we have a certain number of points. I'm just going to keep it at 10. And points, as we've seen, uh, can be used to define a plane. Okay, it's a, it's a simple way. Right now, this is set to, to the default plane, which is just x, y at uh, 0, 0, 0. And uh, we can take the points, we can plug it in for planes, and you can see that that geometry gets distributed uh, to all those points. Okay, and this is like what we do with the columns, uh, and that's going to give us uh, 11 copies. Okay, so we divided this into 10 segments, that's 11 points. And we get 11 copies. Okay, so that's that's one way to do it uh, because the circle component uh, accepts uh, planes. Okay, and you can do this with other components that uh, take planes or points as input. Uh, so, for instance, I can take the ellipse component, and um, this is looking for a base plane. And again, I can plug it in, and it's going to be the plane, and I can adjust the radius. <clears throat> I could do it with something like uh, polygon. I could also distribute it. To those, okay, because again it takes a plane. You could do it with something like rectangle, which again has a base plane, okay. Okay, so those kinds of objects that, that take planes as input, uh, we can we can essentially give them points and they'll be distributed. But uh, mm -hmm. we're also left with this problem that we had last time of some kind of cross section that you made that you want to reference, right? So <clears throat> if we look at a curve component. And we set that curve to reference our our custom uh, curve. It <clears throat> doesn't take any input. Like I can't I can't distribute it. I can't I can't plug it in. I can't plug this into it. She breaks it. Okay. Um, so how do I distribute it? <clears throat> well, what I need is I need to um, to basically. Um, I need to find a way to distribute it, and uh, there's a component called Orient that we talked about in the supplemental. And what Orient does is it takes geometry and it takes a base plane, which is the like the kind of the kind of reference plane, so the, the plane that the geometry starts at, and then a target plane, which is the plane that we want to distribute it to. Okay. Now we definitely have geometry, so we can plug that in. Uh, the reference plane is the place where this starts from. And uh, you could you could plug that into it as well, uh, the location of the geometry, uh, and then the uh, the target plane. Now we talked about how points can be used as planes, and we want to copy it to those uh, points. So it makes sense to plug those points into a reference plane, and in fact that's what we get. Um, now you can see it's doing something weird with the rotation here. Uh, that maybe has something to do with the, this reference. Plane. Plane that we that we plugged into geometry as is. Let's disconnect that. Yeah, and so now it's doing something strange too. It looks like the reference plane here is, is x y, which is at zero zero, right? So this distance here 
is actually equal to the same kind of distance that's happening here. So how would we get that to actually center on there? Right? Can we think of a component that we could use that gets the center of an object? That's right, we can get an area component. <clears throat> if we plug the geometry into it, it's going to give us a center point here, centroid. You can plug that in to the reference plane, and that's actually going to center our geometry. Okay. <clears throat> so again, if you if you have some some component, uh, you may have to find a way to to define a coordinate for that uh, object or for that uh, um, for that piece of geometry, which you can then use as the uh, reference. <clears throat> so again, you get the geometry, which is our custom curve, the reference plane, which we took as the center of it, and then the the target, which is actually the the points that we made. Okay. So um, the two the two basic methods are to use the point as some kind of generator for the geometry, which is what we saw uh, when we copied um, our circle. Okay, right? Because it, it wants a point or it wants a plane. Or <clears throat> to take something and use 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 like the orient uh, use use the orient component to distribute that geometry. Okay. It basically gives it uh, a uh, it lets it use a plane. Okay. So those are the two like basic methods. Uh, there are other ways to distribute geometry, but those are the ones we're going to be talking about mostly today. Okay. So again, uh, just to just to emphasize, if you have points and you have geometry, these are two methods to distribute it. And uh, we'll talk more in part three about how to get points out of things. Okay. And then with those methods, we can distribute geometry over lots of conditions. I'll see you in a bit.